Good morning everybody. I'm back in Arkansas with James and today we are gonna go float the Caddo River and camp, van camp there. <laughs> James is helping me get the van ready. Uh, we're just getting all loaded up now. Um, I've actually never floated the Caddo River. We're not gonna be floating on kayaks or canoes. We'll actually just be floating on uh, blow up inner tubes. Um, so I'm excited about that. It's just gonna be a super chill, lazy day and relaxing. And then we have some food to cook at camp. We got the van all ready, so I'm excited to take this out on a journey. I guess you guys can stick around and see what we do for fun in Arkansas. We are here, we got all checked in. Um, for reference, it's $20 a tube. So we got one, one tube for our cooler. I already had a tube and then we got one other tube. Um, we got campsite number two, that's right here. We have like a little picnic table, a little fire pit, a little grill and it's not the most primitive camping. There's a gas station up there. It is very nice because we can camp here and we just go up, get our tubes, and we put in down here at the river. This is the river that runs right here. We're gonna get all settled in and get on the water. It's hot. I'm excited to get out there and, and float. So this is my tube. I got it at Academy. <laughs> All right, we decided to pull off on this little rock beach. <laughs> and we're going to have a little bit of a snack. All right, we just got finished floating. Now we're at the campsite and we're just going to hang out and chill and then cook some dinner later. But that was a really nice little float. It, was kind of fast um but it was kind of like also perfect because you can make it as long or as short as you want to just depending on how many times you pull off and chill so awesome little float today i definitely got sunburned um, but james is probably going to start trying to make a fire and then we will cook a little bit later I just caught a sunfish. Look at him. He's so cute. Pumpkin seed. Come here, little buddy. This is hard to do and record at the same time. Whoa. He's really pretty. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen one. Yay! Kind of like this. Slide the spines down. Okay. I'm scared to do it with my bad hand. Pull it out. 
<laughs> they do have teeth, but they're yeah. the same as bass, where you can hold them like that. Aww, he's cute. Bye, buddy. Yay! Oh. oh my gosh, first cast, James just caught one too. This guy looks Whoa. Whoa, he's pretty. Yeah. He's more blue. My oh, yours is teal. Mine was orange. This guy looks tropical. Wow, he is so cool. Look how blue he is. Oh my gosh. That's what like, is, what, I've never seen that. All right, we just caught two fish. Well, I caught a fish and James caught two fish. The other, the second one he caught was really small, but yeah, that was half. yeah, one and a half. One point three. <laughs> But that spot was right behind where we're camping. Uh, but we're gonna walk up the river because while we were floating, we found a really good spot. So we're gonna see what we can catch up there. Oh, I see. Ooh, there's a fish right there. Holy cow, he's huge. Oh, that's a pike. That thing's huge. Oh, I'm gonna get him. All right, we're back at camp. Uh, James caught a handful more sunfish and a couple smallmouth bass. Um, I didn't catch anything else. Uh, but now we're back at camp and we're gonna start cooking dinner. And tonight we are having baked potatoes that we're going to cook over the fire. Some marinated chicken that's been marinating for like 24 hours. I'm gonna grill that up on the cast iron. And then I think we have a salad bag too, so. We're gonna be eating good. Oh yeah, I need to edit that video. Like what plans we have next. Those are the potatoes. All right, we got the potatoes in the fire and I'm about to start grilling up the chicken. So I got my cast iron that my sister gave me for Christmas. Thank you, Kimmy. That chicken was marinating in balsamic vinaigrette, honey, chicken broth, rosemary, garlic, pepper, salt. I think that's it. I've never made this before. I just found it on Pinterest before we came out, so we'll see how it turns out. We have our little baked potato bar in the van, and James cooked the potatoes perfectly over the fire. <laughs> We're just sitting by the fire and look who came. We don't even have any more food out. We washed everything. All of our stuff is great. Too. Look at him. He's so cute. He's, sneaky, he's bold. Yeah, he's <laughs> we slept good last night in the van. It was really hot starting out. It said, I have a temperature gauge in there. It said it was 80 degrees in the van and 78 outside. But then this morning it said it's, it was 76 inside the van and 78 outside. So the fan did a really good job of cooling off my van. And of course everything is insulated. Today, I think we're just gonna head home. Um, it's gonna be really, really hot again today. So we might try to get out of here before it's unbearable. My van's air conditioner is not really working. It just blows warm air. So I'm trying to get that fixed. And then the passenger side window does not roll down. And so that also sucks because we can't roll that down when we're driving. All right, that's gonna do it for this adventure. And I will see you guys on the next one.